going on, you guys? Wanted to give you guys a quick update, tell you guys what's going on exactly with the six feet swap. So let's jump into it. Today's just gonna be kind of an overview of what parts I've been able to collect, uh, when I plan on actually starting the project, uh, and what things I've found out as far as part numbers and everything and updating uh, from the last video. So let's jump into what parts I've gotten here that weren't here the last time I showed you guys. So you guys saw this stuff before, the clutch, pressure plate, flywheel. Um, I did order a new flex disc. Now I had basically three to choose from as you'll see in a second, but uh, you know, it was only like 50 bucks. So why not just get a new one, safe and sound. Um, it didn't come with hardware. The hardware that's actually on the transmission one looks fairly new, so I could reuse it if I wanted to, but I'll probably just end up buying hardware for it. I thought this kit was gonna come with it. So yeah, we'll have to see about that. Um, anyways, um, I don't remember if, the, I think the shift linkage wasn't here last time for you guys either. So here is this, uh, it's out of a Chrysler Crossfire as well. Um, same as the W203 units, as long as it's from a sedan, the coupes uh, are shorter than this. So um, yeah. This one, I actually, move this out of my way real quick. Um, I actually got partially refunded from the seller because uh, it does have quite a bit of rust on the, um, these are, these kind of anchor to the chassis from underneath these parts. Um, and there's also supposed to be a brace that's connecting these two across. So not exactly sure how this is gonna uh, kind of work out, but Hopefully, uh, we're going to be able to make it work somehow. Kind of have my eye out uh, for another one if I can find it before I start. But yeah, part number on the main body of this is A170287-0424. But this is all uh, multiple pieces. So um, the part that was broken on my transmission uh, that came broken at least is this attachment. Um, so yeah, that's part of the uh, kind of shifting mechanism cable here. Um, and then here's the actual shifter. Um, can't really get a feel for it because obviously it's not hooked up, but uh, seems to be in okay shape. Still has a foam surrounding on it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this and like really clean it all up. I'm try gonna try to pour 15 all the all the rust spots and then probably repaint this um, just to keep it protected. Um, so it should be able to clean up, but uh, it's cool as seller to at least give me some some cash back. I think I got a 50% refund for that um, just because it, you know, wasn't in as good a shape as described. So uh, other new parts, the drive shaft came um, and it looks to be the correct size. I didn't know um, for sure. Um, pick this up. So I only need the front half. So... Uh, basically a empty, uh, this is a female side and it connects into the splines on uh, the back half of the drive shaft. So the splines should all be the same on most Mercedes models, I would assume. Um, definitely at least from like same generations. So that part of it is not to worry. Um, I guess we'll just have to see once we get in there and actually put it together to make sure it's the correct size. But from what I've seen online and comparing part numbers and everything and even looking at just like, you know, sizes, even though they're from pictures and stuff, it, it looks to be correct. Um, and it's a correct mating flange, obviously, for the crossfire transmission. So, yeah. Um, part number on this, by the way, is... What's that first number? 170-410-2606. Um, so... You have to pay attention. The last four digits really tell the story um, because there's some that are for manual transmissions, but they're like 1606 or 0606. So you really got to do your homework on those ones. Like I said, uh, I'm going to be compiling a huge part list and everything um, just the same way as Dimitri did for his build because uh, our builds are obviously a little bit different. Um, so whatever differences there are, I'm definitely going to make a parts list, uh, explaining everything um, that I have. So yeah, let's keep going. Okay. The other thing that I found out about the transmission, you're not going to be able to see it on the video, 
But down here is all the serial numbers. And this uh, specific model is a 716.667. Um, and then you can get some of the information off the code up here. This is like the build date. From what I've seen, as long as you get one that's 667, anything after, no pun intended, and bless everybody, but uh, anything after six, triple sixes, <laughs> um should be like oh five or uh somewhere like after the first year's build date because the first year build date for the crossfire transmissions they had bad uh first gear synchros on some of them so you want to avoid that um and yeah so everything i saw online i think this is a 5.3 spread like gears inside um, so it should work well with 307 or 306, whatever it is, 307, 306 gears in the C55. Um, but yeah, each transmission, depending on the power output or the power capability, uh, torque rating has a different, um, spread. So I think it goes from like 5.7, uh, varying to like 6.1, I think. So anyways, yeah. Okay. And then last part that I want to talk about is the flywheel um, to kind of update you guys on what I found because it was a bit of a, you know, to be continued situation as last time. So fortunately and unfortunately, this one would have worked. Part number is correct. Everything would have fit. Bolt pattern is correct. Everything's correct. Except when I took over to Dimitri's house, we started to compare it with his, and if you can hear that, it has axial axial play, meaning it's uh, you know vertical axis is wobbling like that, and it also has too much uh, rotational play. I think it's only supposed to have about 12 degrees at most, and this is past that point, but the bigger concern is the fact that it has that wobble um so basically i had two choices three choices i could have tried to run this could have lasted could have held up probably would have been really noisy uh could have it rebuilt and resurfaced which i don't think i, I can call some places but i don't think anyone locally is going to be interested in rebuilding a uh dual mass flywheel um that's just my speculation. I could call around to see. Um, so I'm going to do that just in case. And my third option is getting basically the updated part number that was used for the W204 C350. So what Luck did, the brand, as you can see here, Luck, they basically just made an updated part for this. And it was a higher torque rated part. And they put it in all of the 204s the C300, C350, everything else that used a flywheel that was used for all of those. Uh, and they basically discontinued this part. So <laughs> the fact that I even found, I don't know, it's pretty cool that I found this. I'm like, uh, I don't know, I'm a huge Mercedes nerd, so I was geeking out that I even found anything from a W204 or W203 C350 just because they're so rare already. And then the fact that I found one that came with a manual transmission, that's like the unicorn of the W203s. So this is really cool. This is like a, I don't know, memorabilia basically. Um, and the seller was really cool as well. I told him like, hey, I know you said it was tested in good condition, but it has way too much play in it. So he ended up refunding, uh, I think like $110. I, I told you guys I paid 307 for everything. So I basically got a 3,000 mile used clutch for you know, 200 bucks uh, or a little less than 200 bucks. So um, that's why I figured it was worth the risk because the clutch was still in good shape. And I figured, okay, if this flywheel doesn't work, still got a clutch. So saved about $400 on that. Um, and this clutch is also rated for a good amount of power um, of the W203s. And FCP Euro happens to carry the updated part number for this. So good news all in all. I mean, it sucks that I can't just use this one. It would have been really cool, um, but I'm just not, you know, if I'm gonna take this out and do everything and do all the work, 
I don't want to have to worry about this being a problem. So, yeah, spend the money now instead of having a headache later. The part numbers uh, off the top of my head, this one is 415. Oh, my gosh, I don't know if I remember. I remember the Mercedes part numbers. I'll pop the luck part numbers on screen, but the Mercedes part number for this is 272-030-0405. The updated one is 272-030-0505. So 0405 is this one, that's a W203 generation. 0505 is the W204 generation. So yeah, uh, the W204 one has a torque rating of like, 400 newton meters um, this one was like 370 newton meters and when i talked to schaeffler the owners of luck and a bunch of a couple other companies they recommended me try a cdi flywheel a, a diesel flywheel but that's damn near impossible for me to find in the states so yeah the dowel pins are a good giveaway for which um flywheel you are uh, messing with this one must have popped out i don't even know I, th I thought the other one was in there but maybe it popped out while i've been messing with it but anyways these dowel pins um on the 272 part numbers so this one and the w204 ones with the separated four bolt pattern the dowel pins are right next to on three locations the actual um clutch plate or i mean uh um what's called pressure plate mounting points. Um, they are right next to them. On the actual W203 parts or the DMF079, um, they're in the center in between the uh, mounting plates. And there's always three of them on either one that you choose. So there should be three on this one. I don't know where that one went. It must've uh, fallen out. But um, yeah, so that's a dead giveaway. So that also means that if you're gonna use, you gotta, you gotta be careful which clutch plate you're using um, and which size uh, clutch you're using. So you can see this one, it's mounted right next to it um, on three, three points of it basically. Uh, the other thing, this little center, center ring doodad in the middle, um, that's not on all the clutch uh, pressure plates. Um, it's only on the C350 versions um, for the W203 and all the versions for W204. So just in case you see that and you're like weirded out, like uh, Dimitri and I were, like what the heck is this? Um, it's supposed to be there, but it's only there on the C350, C300s, etc. etc. Um, the clutch size is 240 millimeters. Um, and I'll post all the kit that like the different kits that you could get that work with this, um, down in the, uh, description. So, Last part of this video is when <laughs> I want to start this build date. Um, unfortunately, I have to wait till everything is here, like I told you guys in the last video. And my pedals that are coming from Germany, because the W203 pedals are damn near impossible to find. Um, I got a great deal on it. It was 50 bucks plus like 40 bucks shipping from Germany. Uh, it's just taking forever to get here. It's going to... I don't know. It's saying that it's going to be here like September 1st. So who knows? Like I'm hoping it gets here sooner than that, but I have to wait till that gets here before I can start anything. My plan is I'm going to, once I get the pedals, I'm going to do the pedals before I even mess with the transmission at all. I'm going to get all that assembly put in the lines kind of put into place where I can. I'm not going to be able to do the hard line because that goes through the tunnel. I'm not going to be able to fit it with the automatic still in there but like the clutch reservoir, tapping into the brake reservoir line, I can do that. I can get all the pedals set up. I can still drive it as automatic, even with the clutch pedal already assembled. So that's my plan. I'm gonna take a day and do all that stuff, get it all prepped and ready. And then once I have that in, then it's a go. It's a go for the actual swap to take place um, and everything else to get ready to go in. So yeah, all in all, things are going good. I mean, I've been able to find this stuff for relatively cheap. I think uh, all in right now with a couple refunds and stuff that the sellers offered, I think I've spent about $950. Um, so my aim for the project was $1,500. Uh, and with that, um, 
if I order that flywheel from FCP, um, that'll put me at about, I think I did the calculations, it was $1,592. So just under $1,600. So I'm pretty happy with that. If I can stick to that point without much uh, modification needed, um, I'll be pretty stoked. Um, and I'm, it's hard to say I'll sell the automatic after I take this out, but if this works out good and I'm happy with it, I probably will. So I'll be able to recoup a little bit of the money. Um, I'd be able to sell the front half of the drive shaft. So all the little things, you know, I could, I could sell, um, to make some of the money back. But overall, even just spending the $1,500 to do it is worth it. Even if I don't recoup it with selling those other items, uh, I might just hang on to them to be honest. So yeah, all in all, things are going well. It's just taking time because the world is a bit slowed down. And when you order parts from Germany, it takes a little longer than ordering domestically. So, um, the other parts I've ordered, all the nuts, bolts, um, lines, everything I ordered from MB Parts Live. Uh, I will put that list in the description below as well. Uh, it was about $200 and I paid for overnight shipping. But those parts are also coming from Germany, so I think they're going to get shipped out on the 12th, which is tomorrow. So they should be here by the end of this week. Um, so yeah, all of that part will be taken care of. Uh, big shout out to Dimitri for that. He compiled an awesome list on MB World with all of the little intricate pieces that you'll need. Um, so I will kind of copy and paste that list over to the description. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys, all the new subscribers. Um, that have joined we're almost at 200 actually it's pretty crazy um it's been like nine months to 100 and then like two months for another 100 so uh i know a lot of people have joined just because they've gotten word of this project whether on instagram or mb world or youtube or whatever else um i've been seeing a lot more like smaller uh mercedes focused youtube channels and i've been trying to just reach out just trying to connect like to form a community really uh, on youtube just because uh it's still pretty rare like to find uh these platforms being modified and stuff even on youtube so i just like connecting and building community with people and you know in the meantime i can let them know about the project because i think a lot of people would love to do something like this um it's the reason i'm doing it because i'm really passionate about it and i'm excited about it and i'm sure there's other enthusiasts that um would love to do something like this so uh yeah that's the point of this channel i want to help out i want to want to build a community and, and let people know that these type of things can be done and uh, for, you know, relatively uh, efficiently, um, cost efficiently. And yeah, so uh, for those of you on MB World, by the way, I go by Kai Diego on there, K-A-I-X-D-I-E-G-O. Uh, that's like my music design alias. So yeah, for those of you guys wondering, I post on there. I try to be pretty active in the W203 AMG forum. Um, so yeah. Just in case, if you guys have popped over from there, same guy, that's me. Um, so yeah, um, anyways, comment, see what you guys got going on, see what you guys think. Um, let me know if you guys are bummed that it's not starting as soon as I uh, thought it was going to. I know I'm a little bummed, but um, not too bummed because I know it's going to get done eventually. It's just going to take a little more time. So hopefully by like, you know, first couple weeks of September, I'll be driving around in a six-speed um so pumped man i i think about it all the time i keep saying that but i think i'm like daydreaming about it all the time um so yeah stay safe stay well love you guys thanks for the support excited to get this going uh stay tuned for all the stuff that's coming in between time uh i'll i'll keep the channel active at least a video a week or so um and uh, update you guys with anything that comes up so yeah see you guys on the next one peace